Buddha, Brenda, Jessica, Susan, Scarlett, Buddha, Papi, da, pa, pa. Scra, da, da, di, da, da, da. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? Uh, neither. I don't really do a lot of Christmas shopping. I'm a poor college student. Uh, usually I'll get something for my mom and for my dad, and that's it. And sometimes they help me, like, my mom will buy something for my dad, my dad will buy something for my mom, and same with my stepdad, and that usually helps because I don't really have much in the money area. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Which do you like better, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Definitely Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Day is when I spend with my mom's family. Christmas Eve is either with my dad's family or my stepdad's family. And they are more relatives where my mom's family is my family. When does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? It goes up between Thanksgiving and the second Saturday of December. And my mom decorates it because I'm not home from college yet. Uh, it has to be done by the second Saturday of December because that's a big holiday for my family. It's called Tour of the Trees. White lights or colored lights? Colored lights. I have fought my mom on this for a long time. They put red and white outside the house only, but the tree is always colored light. Are you guilty of peeking at your presents or do you like the surprise? When I was little, my grandma used to hide our Christmas presents by putting them on the opposite side of a bed in a playroom. So we peeked a lot, but we were always so worried that we were going to get caught that we would only peek like, like two seconds and run away. So we were always wrong <laughs> about what we thought we saw. So I guess we kind of still kept the surprise. Would you rather live in a gingerbread house or Santa's workshop? Santa's workshop. Elves, toys, games, fun, North Pole, reindeer. Tell us your Christmas Eve traditions. Uh, I'm either with my dad's family, which is just his brother, uh, he doesn't really interact with a lot of his other family. Most of them live in Canada. So we just go out to dinner with his brother. Or I go to my stepdad's parents' house. And we will, if it's cold enough, we go ice skating or we go hiking in the woods. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it feels like we're in a cabin. And we open presents with them and have a big dinner, so that's fun. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Wouldn't you like to know? What tops your tree? Uh, up until this year, it was always a star. I always insisted on a star. My mom tried to replace it with a bow one year, but that looks stupid. This year, it's like this big snowflake looking thing, which my mom loves it. I think it's a little weird, whatever. Can you name the 12 days of Christmas? 12, drummers drumming 11, pipers piper 10, lords a leaping 9, ladies dancing 8, maids a milking 7, swans a swimming 6, geese a laying 5, golden rings 4, calling birds 3, french hens 2, turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Christmas carols are kind of big in my family. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? I actually went Christmas caroling last night uh, with my four-year-old cousin Kira and she thought it was the best thing we'd ever done. Do you count down to Christmas? If so, how many days are left? No, but my family does count down to Tour of the Trees, which was the second Saturday of December. Uh, my mom usually sends out an email around July telling people exactly when it's happening, and the countdown starts around then. So right now we're at like 350 days or something because it just happened, but yeah, we do count down starting several months in advance. What are some foods and treats you can count on having every holiday season? Back to Tour of the Trees. Uh, everything. <laughs> During Tour of the Trees, uh, we have a six-course meal over the course of the day, where we go to six different houses. Brunch, hors d'oeuvres, soup, salad, dinner, and dessert. And we eat literally all day. It's, I think, a 13 or 14 hour event usually, and it's just food. So we just eat all the things. How has Christmas kept its magic for you as you've grown older? As you might be able to guess, uh, that would be Tour of the Trees. Uh, my family's been doing it since before I was born. I think we're going on 30 years now. And we sing Christmas carols and eat food and gamble. I don't know how that became a family tradition, but it did. And it's, it's really fun. I think the little kids look forward to Tour of the Trees more than they actually look forward to Christmas. I really like that my family does that on a regular basis. And then we make it a point that like, even if you can't make it for Thanksgiving or Christmas, you are there for Tour of the Trees. So, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Woo! Everywhere you go, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel. A 
one in the park as well. The sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow. Oh, it's oh. beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Woo! So yeah, that's all from me. I have missed you all, and I'm glad that we're back doing this, and let's keep doing it, okay? Okay. Bye.